What is the most important innovation in 20th century surface naval warfare? Is it radar-guided guns or surface-to-surface -surface missiles? It can be argued that the most important innovation is, in fact, the naval helicopter. This is the Westland Sea King, the most significant British naval helicopter in the last 60 years. The twin Rolls-Royce Gnome gas turbine engine configuration provides this helicopter with a high degree of single engine performance and an endurance capable of performing rescue operations at ranges hitherto impossible. What makes the Sea King stand out from other helicopters is its sheer versatility and adaptability. Over almost 50 years of service with the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force, from 1969 to 2018, the Sea King was used in numerous roles well beyond its original design as an anti-submarine warfare helicopter. It was what is known as a utility helicopter, an aircraft designed for multiple tasks. It saw service as a commando troop carrier, a heavy lift transport, an airborne early warning aircraft, and even a search and rescue helicopter. It was truly the Swiss army knife of naval and military helicopters. In the mid 1960s, to counter the growing threat of Soviet nuclear submarines, the Royal Navy required a new, larger, more powerful anti-submarine helicopter. The Sea King had American origins. The new helicopters were required quickly and British manufacturer Westland already had a close relationship with Sikorsky helicopters in the United States. It was agreed that Westland would build licensed copies of the US Sikorsky SH-3 Sea King, which had been in service with the US Navy since 1961 for the British. With its range of 625 miles and versatile crew of four, two pilots and two sonar and weapons operators, the Sikorsky SH-3 was ideal for the Royal Navy. Westland even increased its operational range to over 760 miles. Thus, the Westland Sea King was born. The main role of the Sea King was as an anti-submarine warfare helicopter. Tensions in the North Atlantic were high during the Cold War. Ever quieter and more advanced Soviet nuclear submarines were silently patrolling the waters around Great Britain and her NATO allies posing an intolerable threat to British shipping and the UK's submarine-deployed nuclear deterrent. Submarine-hunting helicopters such as the Sea King would be deployed miles ahead of the fleet where they would launch submarine-detecting sonar buoys into the water. These sonar buoys would unfurl their sonar equipment to detect any enemy submarines. Multiple helicopters dropping multiple sonar buoys could then triangulate on their target before dropping depth charges or sonar-guided torpedoes to kill the submarine. During the Falklands War, the Royal Navy found themselves without suitable airborne early radar warning aircraft since the Fairy Gannet had been withdrawn four years earlier. This left them without the ability to detect enemy aircraft at long range and coordinate their interception through radar. In the immediate aftermath of the conflict, Two Sea Kings were fitted out with early warning radar equipment. Further Sea Kings were modified with a fully capable AEW variant entering service in 1985. These helicopters were easily recognisable with their large round radomes hanging underneath. Another key use of the Sea King was in troop transport and heavy airlift. An earlier requirement was for the deployment, often by night, of commandos and other special forces. The HC-4 Westland Commando helicopter entered service in 1979. Combined with pilots wearing night vision goggles, these aircraft could fly in very low under enemy radar to deploy their troops and equipment. Several Royal Naval Air Squadrons have operated the Commando variant, such as 845, 846 and 848 Naval Air Squadrons. As with all Sea King variants, the HC-4 Commando was upgraded throughout its lifetime with an ever more advanced array of electronic warfare kits, including radar and navigation equipment. Westland Sea Kings were deployed during the Falklands War of 1982. 
They were operated from the decks of various Royal Navy ships, such as the amphibious assault ship HMS Fearless. During the conflict, they performed a wide range of missions, from anti-submarine patrols and reconnaissance flights, to replenishment operations and deployment of special forces. Support provided by the Sea King, in the form of transport of men and supplies, was viewed as vital to the success of the British operation. During the 1991 Gulf War, Sea Kings from Britain and other Allied nations were deployed as part of the coalition forces against Saddam Hussein's Iraq. The Sea King participated in the UN and NATO intervention in Bosnia during the early 1990s. 845 Naval Air Squadron and their Sea Kings have been dispatched to the region in late 1992 in response to escalating tensions in Bosnia. This Westland Sea King HAS Mark VI on display at IWM Duxford is one of the dedicated anti-submarine warfare helicopters. It served with H-14 Naval Air Squadron, known as the Flying Tigers, aboard HMS Invincible from 1990 to 2000. During this time, this Sea King saw action during the Gulf War of 1991, the Bosnian conflict and the war in Kosovo in 1999. Painted in its distinctive livery of Royal Navy light grey and dazzling tiger stripes, this aircraft has been on display at Duxford since 2010. Another key duty of the Sea King was that of aerial search and rescue. The airframe was ideally suited for this role, with long range, a stable rescue platform in the hands of experienced pilots, with plenty of space on board for loading casualties and carrying emergency medical equipment. A dedicated search and rescue version, the HAR-3, was developed for the RAF Search and Rescue Force, entering service in 1978. It has a search radius of action of well over 250 nautical miles, at cruise speeds of up to 120 knots, at weights up to 20,500 pounds. It can operate by day or night in all weather conditions. The ship was going over so quickly, um, we couldn't get the life rafts off the port side. And I don't know how many we eventually got in the water, but it certainly wasn't that many. Uh, suddenly we were, uh, there's some bugger on the roof. Uh, <laughs> I, I let out a bloody scream and told him to stop being so bloody stupid, get your ass inside this bloody life raft and don't bugger about on the ceiling. Don't you realise these people's bloody heads beneath your feet? Um, to which this head sort of popped in and it was, uh, it was a member of a sinking, sinking air crew. Um, we, we hadn't even heard the helicopter. And uh, he just popped in with his head upside down and said, who wants a fucking taxi then? We said, oh, yes, please. And they, they started taking us all out. And um, I was winched up into a, a Sea King. RAF search and rescue Sea Kings are immediately recognisable in their bright yellow high visibility colour scheme and were famously the aircraft flown by His Royal Highness William Prince of Wales during his service with RAF search and rescue from 2010 to 2013. This illustrates how the versatile Westland Sea King, designed for naval warfare, was adapted to serve as a peacetime aircraft. The Sea King was also sold to numerous British allies, such as Norway, Germany, Belgium and Australia, as from 2023, they were even in use by Ukrainian forces against the Russian invasion, donated from the UK and Germany. The Westland Sea King has been so successful, it has seen almost 50 years uninterrupted service with the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force. The key to its success has been its versatility and adaptability. It is the ideal helicopter for almost any naval or military situation. From its first role as a dedicated anti-submarine aircraft to secret nighttime commando missions, as an advanced aerial early warning aircraft, to its role as a search and rescue helicopter, the ubiquitous Sea King has been at the forefront of British operations since the 1960s. Recently, the Sea King has finally been replaced in British service by its more advanced successor, the Augusta Westland AW101 Merlin. These fly today from the Royal Navy's advanced aircraft carriers, 
HMS Queen Elizabeth and Prince of Wales. The reliable Sea King, however, still soldiers on with the navies and air forces of the world, including the Egyptian Air Force and the navies of India and Pakistan. A tribute to the continuing versatility of this remarkable helicopter. Calls from ships, calls from those of all nations, for search and rescue is indeed international, are being answered promptly and efficiently by air crews flying the Westland Sea King, the most modern and effective search and rescue helicopter in the world today.